my name is Esti. Welcome to my world of healthy eating and living. Hi guys, I'm back on Friday night cooking. So today I'm going to show you a very simple recipe, Singapore Fried Oyster. So let's jump on, all right, to cooking because I'm really hungry and I've been baking some cookies as you can see over there. It was a disaster. Uh, my rat somehow become a fat rat <laughs> instead of the small, like me, short and cute. So I'm a little bit disappointed, but anyway, I shoot the vlog and I'm going to share them on my next vlog all right so tomorrow or tonight I might be uploading another Chinese New Year special vlog so make sure you check out my live streaming okay the strange light right tonight tonight it looks a bit strange so let's go on and cook this amazing dish so I have a pan I'm gonna make oyster so this is the oyster that I bought uh, in um, at the supermarket so I'm going to be using this and then over here I have some egg that I just lightly whip and then with the egg I have some um, this is actually tapioca flour and rice flour don't worry I'm going to include the recipe in so that you can get that too all right and then instead of salt I add some um, what do you call that the uh, chicken stock the chicken powder instead so this is a slightly salty, so you really don't need to add anything else but other than that. Alright, so now I put everything in front of me so that I don't miss it again. And then over here you have some garlic. I have some ginger from this morning. So if you don't like the fishy smell of the oyster, you can add the ginger. So on the pan, I'm going to just fry the... It's not so much oil left. Anyway let me just start the pan and of course to decorate it you need some uh, either you buy some coriander or you have some spring onion right so it's not so particular so the portion of this tapioca and rice flour i've seen people using plain flour but i think rice flour is more crispier if you want to get the crispy effect so this is a very fast recipe omelet um, Economy is kind of expensive, the oyster. I bought them from the Asian store. Uh, I still prefer the previous brand because the previous brand was much, much more. And this one, the brand is like uh, from Korea, but we'll see, right? We'll see if it's good or not. Not from China. I don't, I'm really scared of the China product now. So, not that I don't want that, but I just felt like, you know, I shouldn't, I shouldn't use China product because I don't want to take that risk. You know, you don't know what they have inside there. Okay, I'm just draining up the oyster. So I have some oyster sauce in the egg also. So in the egg, I'm going to add some seasoning. I would like to add, usually I like to add some uh, fish sauce. Just a tiny bit because later on, when you fry, you want to add a little bit more. So stand by with that and then my white pepper. That is all we need. Yeah. So let's cook this. Uh, I cook this a few times and every time the consistency is so different from each other. So let me just uh, explain to you why you have to uh, be aware of certain things. I'm trying to get a plate. <laughs> okay. Let's get a small small plate <laughs> okay <laughs> okay now the pan is a bit hot now so you want to put in the thing but don't put in too high the heat okay because if you put it high it will splatter and then you will get this this figure so i'm going to put just a bit of the flour and just test a little bit first oh you see it's right Hello, hello, you girl, YouTube girl. Okay, now, so now I'm going to put them in. So make sure you just don't put them too fast. Just a little bit. Okay. And then it's okay to make it randomly, unevenly. Because you want to have this crispy, crispy, crispy side. So 
So you want to let this cook, and then now I can, I feel confident, so I can higher the heat a little bit. So this is not a very uh, technical recipe, but somehow you have to know a little bit uh, how this dish should taste like and should look like, and should feel like. So you notice I push the dough, or rather the batter, to the side because I want to cook this in a very, very... Hey, you, you girls, sna snappies. Greeting from Sweden. Hey, love your channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I'm so glad you found me. Uh, just flip the cap. You see, it's crispy already, yeah? So now I want to break this up because you don't want this, and you have to be careful, yeah? Uh, you don't want this to be like a lump. <laughs> this is obviously a lump. Let me use another, another like this. You just need to break them up. Ooh. Some people like it like one whole piece, but I prefer to like break them up. A little bit. Thank you for joining me. I'm so glad that you join and, and, and check out my channel. So now I'm going to reduce the heat because it's getting very warm. But I want to create this a little bit crispy effect. Okay, now this is the fun part. Okay, you want to put the, the egg in here. Oh, sorry, I forgot to put the garlic. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah, I, I, maybe I'm too hungry. So you want to have this garlic around this first, just to season the oil. Honestly, I like a lot of garlic, so I'm going to put a little bit more. And garlic is healthy also, yeah? So let me just... I'm so sorry if I, I didn't check, check your comment, okay? Because I, my eyes nail on this because I'm going to nail this. So just pour the egg around this. And then, I don't like to stop there. I'm very capable, you know. I like to put some more. I like to put some leeks. Uh, if you have spring onion, put spring onion. If you don't have, you know, it's fine. You, you notice I didn't want to put the, the uh, what do you call it, the oyster in yet, right? Oyster, you have to put it in the last minute. So now I'm just going to add some pepper. And let this like fry them into like a pancake consistency. Okay. Now here in Singapore at the hawker center when they fry this is like you know like they're having a war inside. So not in my case. I, I think I'm quite gentle and I like to you know do this in uh, my way. I'll just flip them. Oh, look at that. So you don't want to... Oh, look at that. Okay. So I'm going to flip this slowly. Ooh. This is a very easy meal, right? When you come back from work, you just don't want to cook. You want to just sit around the couch on a Friday evening and just be lazy. So this is a perfect recipe for those of you who are like this so now what do you do right what about the oyster so i'm gonna add the oyster but before that i'm gonna just speed up the heat a bit because i want this crispy in singapore the one that they made in singapore is very oily i notice they put a lot of those pork oil or lard oil and then you know that's the that's the thing a lot of people they like that that way but i just feel like oh you want to eat, you want to be healthy, you want to keep your figure, you know, you want to uh, eat lesser fat. So I think it's still okay with lesser fat. Not necessarily you have to have a lot of, a lot of fat. So you can just, just hack this like that if you like. So my version is a healthier version, right? So now I'm going to put the oyster on top. 
And at this point, you want to be quite quickly. And then, now is the time when you want to give a taste at the side here, a little bit of the egg. Mm. Mm. Okay. Honestly, you can put this later on, on top of serving. But I like the sound of the sizzling. So I'm going to add this now. And look at that. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Okay, now. You want to make sure you cook the oyster well. <laughs> because I don't want to end up having the corona virus. Yeah? So, for me, I'm a little bit... Uh, too old for that kind of illnesses so I'm just going to just make sure that I cook the oyster well mm. smells so good already okay now off the heat you see the color is like I know some people say oh not so much oil how come you know the auntie will complain how come it's not oily you know it has to be oily no not necessary okay auntie just cool down and then eat healthier right so at this point i want to put my garnish some people they like to put it on top but because my garnish is frozen so i'm gonna put them when i fry them yeah so let's give this a quick stir mm. Oh my god, it smells so good. Okay, so you want to turn off the heat like a bun because you want the steam. If you have a cover, cover it. Just let the steam uh, moist up this whole dish so it's not so dry. But some people, they like to eat it crispy dry. But for me, I like it a bit lamb. Okay guys, so this is my fried oyster. See the oyster there? And uh, you guys, uh, if you are going to China, beware, okay? This virus is uh, it's kind of annoying because I just felt like i seen some people they were talking about. Uh, this virus has been around for a long time, but you know, and nobody is like doing anything about that. And now it has spread to so many other countries. We have one case in um, Singapore and I think they have suspected uh what do you call that the uh, huh. ah, smells so good okay now makan time anyway i'm just going to continue my chat all right when i have a uh, time uh on the table all right let's go to the table and then i'll i'll share with you guys uh how this dish look like so you can have a better light this table is like let me just flip the camera on so this is a better light yep oyster fried oyster and then my fatty it's supposed to be a rat because this year is the year of a rat <laughs> and my rat become flattened so i'm going to enjoy this i hope you like this if you do a uh, give a thumbs up and don't forget when you subscribe put on the notification bell on all right so you get notified when i go on live so now makan time bye bye